Hello, boys and girls. Welcome once again to my rather messy garage. Um, I bought this three-phase motor, and it's a uh, place on the other side. So fuck it, I don't care. But it's fairly big. It was like ten quid, and for scale, that's not really much for scale. Um, ruler for scale. Ruler for scale for Americans. No. Anyway, I found out you can set three-phase motors up to run two-phase power, uh, single-phase power. And if I can remember where the plate is, some of the multimeter. See, on three-phase power, you have it set up in this configuration, which is called star. In single-phase, you have it. You can wire it up into delta, which is a little triangle. I have absolutely no idea how to wire it into Delta, but luckily there's this little diagram and the thing comes with plates for it. The thing about wiring it in Delta is you need a capacitor to start it. Someone told me how to figure out what the capacitance is supposed to be. I completely ignored them and just bought 30 uh, microfarads with capacitors. This is a 10 and this is a 20. And I thought, well, I'll try it on 10. If that doesn't work, I'll try it on 20. If that doesn't work, I can try it on 30. Well, I've tested it already, and I know it works on 30, but it could do with a bit more. So now it works like this. And then it spins up. What I currently have is a motor that works. I don't want to run that too long, because wiring's fucking tiny. I think I need more capacitant to start. I think I should probably aim for about 50 microfarads. The guy told me to get 70. The thing is, it runs on 30, so that's fine. So what I could do is get just a big capacitor to start it, so when it's on load, it will start. Well, I can finally figure out what the fuck those two black wires are for. The two little wires in here. Okay, there's a tiny block. I've got no fucking idea what this thing's for, and I was meaning to put a multimeter on it to try and figure it out. I think this might be connected to a... Switch inside. Oh fuck, that's getting warm. Seriously, already? How are you this warm already? Wait. Yeah, that's getting fucking warm. Hmm, maybe that's too many ferrets. Or maybe this motor just needs a proper clear up. It's a bit. Actually, no, they're pretty good. Because this feels warm already. Yep, warm, warm, warm. But it is 38, 39 degrees C in here. Let's really open a window. Sorry, I'm rambling. You know, as you start thinking. Yeah. So I could get some more capacitance, but if it works on 30, it won't work on 20. It won't like get up fast enough to get going. If it works on 30, I really don't want to add any more. Like I could add one big capacit. Well. So I got like, how many really needs to start? So what I have to do is get like a 30 microfarads capacitor and use the 20 that I've got there, this one, to help start it. But I only need to start one to run it on load. Because before it spins up, I can stop this by hand, by like on just 20. On 30, I daren't hold it hard enough to try and stop it. I got a bit of wood I could try to jab it into it. No, I'll leave that for it. As soon as it's getting that warm that quickly, it worries me. Don't get I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, because I'm basically just watch three YouTube videos and think I know what I'm doing and this is my setup. Doesn't it look oh so professional? Hmm. There, motor. It's cheap. So if push comes to shove and I burn the fucker out, it's made out of alloy. At least I think it's made out of alloy, isn't it? So. Get off the hook! Yeah. It's made out of fucking hard alloy, but I think it's an alloy. It ain't heavy enough to be steel. Wait, I've got a magnet. Nope. Nope.
okay, this bit still, this bit isn't. It's non-ferrous. So even from a 10 quid, I'd get that back just in scrap value, I think. These, were, these things were like 10 quid for the bear. Anyway, motor of me do things. Me go weed lawn now. Bye.